So it's 2022 and it's time for companies to release their new product. And a company called New Mobile, which I reviewed their devices in the past, have their new offerings for 2022. Let me give you my thoughts. Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. So New Mobile sent me out two of their newer devices for review, which is the New Mobile B10 and the New Mobile B15. So in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts about the New Mobile B10. So this one's going to be exciting, right? Because this is a lower end device for 2022. So let's have some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So I have the new mobile latest device, which is the new mobile B10. So let's talk about what you get in the box. First, looking at the box, new mobile always give you a very good presentation. Uh, it showcases the device very well with nice detail and information about the device on the box itself. And it has a great photo of the device on the box. When opening up the box, you get a fantastic unboxing experience. This is what I'm talking about. When you open it up, you greet it to the device itself. Next, you have a glass screen protector and a TPU case. Yes, you get all this in the box, but it's more. Next, you get some new mobile stickers that let you know that they take pride in the device. Next, you get a charging cable and a power brick. Let me repeat that. You get a charging brick in the box. Lastly, you get a SIM removal tool and a quick start guide. So this is a complete setup for this device here. And guess what? The price is $170. Let me repeat that. For this brand new device, for this unboxing experience, it's only $170. That's extraordinary. I will leave all product links down in the description below. Okay, so let's talk about the specs. The new mobile B10, it has a 6.55 inch 720p IPS display. It has the MT Helio P60 processor with four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. You got SD card support, dual SIM support, plus a SD card support on the same tray. On the rear, you got a triple camera setup. You have a 48 megapixel standard with autofocus. You got an eight megapixel wide, and you have a two megapixel macro lens on this cam on this device. In the front, you got an eight megapixel camera. Now, as far as video, the new mobile B10 can shoot up to 1080p, 30 frames per second. And powering this device, you got a 4,000 milliamp battery. And just so you know, this is a 4G LTE phone that works on GSM, WCDMA, and LTE. So this is a 4G device. And lastly, this device has Face ID. So it has a lot of things going for it. And the cost again is 170 bucks. Keep that in mind. Okay, so let's talk about the build quality. This device comes with two colors. You have a deep blue ocean, which is this one that I have right here. Then you have an opal color. Now it's a beautiful sleek design and it's built with all plastic and glass with a matte finished plastic back and it feels real nice. Now on the front, you got a 720p display, which is good. You got a, a unusual big front camera here on the side right here, but it's overall, it's it feels good in the hand. So let's go over the device. On the right side, you do have a volume button and a power button that does as a fingerprint scanner. So your fingerprint scanner is here on the side. On the right side, you got the SIM slot. On the bottom, you do have a single speaker and a mic. This is only one speaker device. And at the top of the device, you got a headphone jack. Let me repeat that. You have a headphone jack on the under $200 phone, which is extraordinary. So let's talk about the performance. It's a lot of companies that's using the MTP60 processor on their low end devices, which is not a bad thing for light duty task. Playing games on this device was okay. You had some slight slowdowns and hiccups. It's not the smoothest experience playing games on here, but you know what? At least it's playable. And again, the price point. So yes, playing games on here is okay. 
One thing that I do want to mention about the speaker here, even though it's one speaker, it's nice and loud and clear. Let me let you listen to this speaker in action going against his bigger brother. So check this out. So let's talk about these cameras. And one thing that I appreciate is a company that advertise a 48 megapixel camera, right? And have a 48 megapixel option in the camera app for good photos at high resolution. Let me show you some footage here of these cameras and let you be the judge for yourself. So check this out. The Chosen. So here's my conclusion. I've only been having the new mobile B10 for a few days now. And here's my first impression. It's a $170 device that gives you a lot of value for what you get. It's a fully loaded unboxing experience with glass screen protectors, cases, power bricks in the box, right? You get a dual SIM support plus SD card support on here, right? You get a headphone jack with a nice design. So. It's a good offering at that price. Uh, as far as battery life, the 4,000 milliamp battery on here, look, I got further tested to do, but so far having it for a few days, it's been very good. But overall at this price point, it's a nice phone. Again, I will leave all product links down in the description below. Look, I have further tested to do with this device. I'm going to make a few videos about this device so y'all guys can see everything in the kitchen sink about this device. So stay tuned and subscribe. This is Eric the Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the new mobile B10 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.